Let's do this shit. All right. I guess we're going to get into this shit finally. <laughs> <laughs> After multiple fucking attempts. Ah, it's been a- multiple days. Yeah. Uh, by the way, my name is Frank. This is The Blend. We're here with Dougie A. Say hello, Dougie. <laughs> Hello, Dougie. Woohoo! Let's it's try good. this again. <laughs> Hello, everybody. The name is Dougie A, and it's great to be here, not asleep this time. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> so, uh, nobody's going to know this because it's not released, but everybody's going to know right now. <laughs> uh, we tried to do this one time before. <laughs> fuck. Uh,. Yeah, this was, uh, I don't know, what, like a week and a half ago? Yeah, probably. Two weeks ago? Probably about that. Two weeks, something like that? Yeah, dude. Anyways, we tried to do this, and uh, we started drinking at 1230 (laughs) in the afternoon, like a bunch of fucking hillbillies. (laughs) It was five o'clock somewhere, man. It was five o'clock somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, Dougie hadn't (sighs) eaten anything. And he decided that he wanted to smoke a bowl after he drank about an eight-pack of beer. Do not recommend at all. Uh, so we smoked a bowl about halfway through all those beers, and then we smoked one after. Oh. We had a few beers left. You know, we were just chilling. We were talking, cruising through the podcast, you know. It was going pretty good. Uh, we got to about, I don't know, about a half hour into it or something. Something like that. And then all of a sudden, Dougie looks at me and he's like, yo, I got to go take a piss. (laughs) So this motherfucker, I was like, yeah, man, go take a piss. Well, I didn't really say it. I kind of signed it to him and moused it because I was still talking on the podcast. (laughs) It took like 10 minutes for me to understand just to point that out there. Yeah, yeah, it did. It did. (laughs) Uh, Because I was just like pointing at the door to him and this dude wouldn't just get off and go. Uh, he uh, couldn't take a hint, but I that I should have known then and there how fucking drunk he was. Yeah, it was a bad time, man. Overall, it was not a good time for me. Uh, yeah, man. It uh, so yeah. Anyways, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna go take a piss. Best kind. I was like, yeah, I'll keep I'll keep talking on the podcast. You know, he won't be gone very long. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'd say about. 10, 15 minutes goes by. And all of a sudden, I'm like, shit, I got to cut this. Where the fuck is Dougie? So I fucking cut it, and I go check. Uh, and I go knock on the bathroom door. And I all I'm greeted with is a grunt, like, <laughs> Like fucking Sasquatch or Like something. a Sasquatch, like Lurch from the Adams Family, man. Like, Jesus Christ. It was, uh, it was a bit ridiculous. And it it took me about an hour to get this dude out of my bathroom. The floor was comfy, man. The floor was comfy. And then after that, he came in and sat down on the bed and slouched over and fell asleep in his own lap Mm. for about three hours, man. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Then leans back for another hour and a half and falls asleep. Gets up at around 11 (laughs) o'clock at night. So, yeah, I'm going to go home now. Right the fuck on, my son. <laughs> a buddy just like full sensor, don't eat shit. It's like it's like it's like getting a day drunk going in the middle of the summer. You're outside and no suntan, no sunscreen on, no nothing like that. You don't got no bottles of water with you. You just fucking cuts her dry and drinks a twenty six or a rum real fucking quick. Blackout, turning into. The Kraken type monster. <laughs> Be happy I wasn't drinking Kraken, cause that would have been something else. <laughs> Man, what a mess that would have been. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have been dealing with it. You would have been. I would have put you outside. <laughs> <laughs> like the doctor strapped me to the fucking leash. <laughs> out, we, out, young lad. I wouldn't have even done that. <laughs> just, I would have literally just took you outside and be like, "What the fuck, man." <laughs> At least, yeah. at least let me wipe it up with my socks or something, man. Come nah, on. nah. I would have, uh, nah, I would have, I wouldn't have thrown you outside, man. Uh, dude. Like, I let you sleep on my bed for like fucking five hours. <laughs> dude, man, I swear to God. I was at like, it was like 2020. So 
cousin that shot himself. I had a cousin that shot himself. And so in 2020, I went, like, I was, my other cousin, he was going out partying with his friends and shit like that. Whatever. So I was invited. That's besides the point. So it's not this big fucking fancy house, you know, like, rich motherfucker, man. And, like, <laughs> all the guys are downstairs partying. He's got, like, a dartboard, fucking pinball, foosball, whatever the fuck you want. You know, just one of those weird rich houses. And, dude, I swear to God. I got so fucked up. I was behind his bar doing shots of tequila. I went in his bathroom and fucking passed out for two hours on the toilet. Threw up everywhere. (laughs) Fucked his bathroom up. (laughs) Tried to clean it up with toilet paper. His buddy had to walk me outside to the front step so my dad could come pick me up. All before 10 o'clock in the night. So what you're telling me is this is... Habitual, it happens all the time. Not all the time, but uh, once. But enough to say it's a thing. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, when I want to go ham, I just go ham. I don't have self control. It's a problem, but it's not a problem. We're and there's there's, there's a lot of people in this world that don't have self control, yeah, though. The right? New Year's coming up. We'll worry about it then. But, but, <laughs> but isn't that something that everybody always says? If you really want to change, aren't you like going to do it now instead of having to wait till the new year? I mean, t- granted, it's only like seven days away right now, but uh. <laughs> of course. But man, the way I see it, man, listen: alcoholics go to meetings, drunks go to parties. So I'm much more of a party type than a meeting type. I think of myself as a alcoholic lawyer. I always crack the case. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh man. Oh man. The only thing I'm mad about that is I didn't think of it first. <laughs> that was, uh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh man. man. It's a bit ridiculous, but you know that kind of just suits the style. Dude, your dog is just lying next to me here. He got his fucking balls out, and they're just for the yeah. For those of you who don't know, I have a dog. Uh, he's a bit of a ridiculous little asshole. Um, but I love him. Uh, but he's actually being civil for once and lying down on the couch. So we're going to, we're going to take it and run with it. Yeah. He's a good boy. He's a good, good boy. So, uh, what do you got going on in your life right now, man, Dougie? Honestly, man, you know, you know, new relationship, I guess. Um, so that's been cool. I just recently moved to a new spot like two, three months ago now. Um, I've been taking some time off with music for a while, but, you know, slowly, slowly dabbling back into it. You know, as we're working on some things behind the scenes, um, honestly, man, working all the time, it's just, you know, it's a lot of like just adult responsibilities at this point, you know, like just a lot of fuckery, but it's like <laughs> fuckery that needs to be there in order to survive in life. Yeah, yeah, I so, got you. Know, you. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's just life, I guess, right? Ah, man. I wish it fucking wasn't. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) you and me fucking both, buddy. Jesus Christ. What was it, buddy, at Lime McQuaid said to me earlier about the taxes? He's like, oh, yeah, I just just thought the first thing I wanted to do every morning is uh, when I woke, first thing when I woke up every morning, what I wanted to do is I wanted to pay more taxes. Of course, of course. We're not paying enough already. I butchered that like a motherfucker, but. (laughs) But no, that's exactly what he was saying, man. He's just like. That's the universe getting it back for that alcoholic lawyer one. (laughs) It's like, no, we got to take you back down a peg, right? Yeah, you can't be be too funny right now. You're not, you're not there yet. Yeah. Ah, dude, no, but yeah, he was going on about the fucking taxes. I'm like, it's exactly what we all want to do. Wake up in the morning. Ah, mm, got a new paycheck. Good thing it's all going to fucking taxes. Dude. Yeah. Now I know why fucking Wesley Snipes didn't pay his taxes. (laughs) (laughs) Or Al Capone. Or for what's the newest one that's they're looking at? Fucking who is it? Mariah Carey? I think so. Yeah. I think no, Shakira. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shakira, Shakira. Shakira was shaking her hips, but she was, like, shaking those taxes at the same time, bro. Yeah, she was shaking her hips, but she was hiding that money. <laughs> She's like, ah, uh, free money? Yes. Free but money. In reality. It wasn't free money. She was shaking her fucking hips pretty hard for it, I guess. <laughs> let's be real here, dude. Like, the taxes in Newfoundland alone are real. We got a fucking sugar tax, man. 
Yeah. Man, it's just the world we're in. There's a fucking tax on everything. They tax money that we make so we can pay taxes on stuff that we own when we buy it. Listen, they can tax (laughs) shit that we didn't own, that we didn't have to buy. I'm sure they would. Well, they do. Our money. That's true. (laughs) Damn. Because you got to work to get it, but they're still taxing it. Yeah, I mean, but like... Taxes, Taxes are just a fucking crock of shit. Yeah, dude, it just literally, like, bends you over, gets the lube, and just... Right up the hole, man. Uh, they get more and more. It's like the me. government's just getting greedy. <laughs> oh, dude, you got fucking meatheads like Trudeau running the goddamn office. Is this too political for the podcast? I don't know, but... Yeah, probably. Dude, that uh, guy, he used to be a boxer, man. And I I don't know, man. I think he took one too many fucking smacks in the head to run a goddamn country, bro. That's just me. That's besides the point. Don't everybody come for Dougie all at this point. If you do, well, <laughs> you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I can. He's playing pocket pool. Yeah. I'm going to get the magic eight ball. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's going to tell me what the weather is in the morning. You're going to shake it up a little bit. It's going to tell you what it looks like outside. Oh, boy. She's giving me the morning mist. I'm giving her the morning dew. <laughs> okay. Woo. Very good there. Yeah. <laughs> that took a course, everybody. Yeah. To be fair. So what do you think? what do you think about Argentina winning the World Cup? Dude, let's talk about fucking Messier and his GOAT status. Dude. Messier. Or messy? <laughs> what is it's it? It's messy. Is it messy? Yeah, we're not talking hockey here, buddy. It could be messy, eh, bro. He's got that eye there. I, I don't watch soccer enough, but I, I I follow certain people, I guess per se. Yeah, that's true. I you know I guess it's kind of like I'm just more of a hockey guy, but dude, messy. I definitely am too. But Messi in the World Cup, man, ah, dude, that's good. That's like he finally won his World Cup. It's fucking goat status. He's the only player ever to win two like player of the tournaments to get both golden balls in 2014 and 2022. I was reading that earlier today, dude. Shit's incredible, man. What a feat. Yeah, you can't compare Ronaldo and him anymore. No, you can't. It's just done. He's it's apples and oranges at this point now. Like, Argentina starting off in the World Cup was like, everyone was like, oh, shit, they're going to be uh And then, no, they turned that shit around, dude. And just, well, who they, who'd they lose to? They lost to Saudi Arabia, man. Yeah, dude. Like, it was some bullshit team. I and mean, then, like, France went on to go to their second consecutive finals in a row. Finals. And, dude, they weren't far they off. They almost won. If Killian Mbappe almost won it for yeah. that oh, team. Again, oh, he, he scored a hat trick, He dude. got the golden boot, dude. Like, dude's yeah. incredible. Let's, like, that guy. Oh, he's the future. Like, he's, yeah. And that's just fact of the matter. Like, you can't, you can't go to a World Cup final and just fucking score three goals. That doesn't happen. To tie it up, too. Like, they were coming from behind goals. Like, to score one goal in soccer is hard enough, let alone to score two and three. So for he's established himself as a star league player for years to come just by that World Cup performance. Oh yeah. So it's like hundred percent. He's a uh, the kid is the kid is probably the next big star in my opinion. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got your fucking. Messi, Ronaldo, you know, you got your Davies. Um, whoever got else, I don't watch enough soccer to know all these players. Uh, yeah, England's but, got Kane. Kane's pretty good. Mm. Well, dude, it's like that. It's like he's going to be up there with those guys. Like at, at the end of the day, you can't deny talent when it's shown. That's like if you go to hockey and like you're a Toronto fan, but you say, oh, Connor McDavid sucks. The dude's the fucking goat of hockey right now. Yeah, or what about that dude in Dallas, too? Was it Justin Jason, Robertson? Jason, Jason Robertson, yeah, dude? Yeah, Jason dude, Robertson. Dude, that kid is a fucking superstar, man. Dude, let's... In his first, like, certain amount of games, I seen a post of it earlier. I think it's, like, yeah. his first, what, two seasons almost or something. Yeah? And he's, he's only, like, 
a few points behind McDavid. Yeah, he's got more goals than McDavid in his first like few. Uh, it's like I think it's like a hundred and something games. Yeah, it was a hundred and something. I don't know but exactly. He's got less assists and less points, but that's only cause less assists. He has less points, but dude, he has more goals than McDavid in his first however many games they were compared to. And yeah, it's the kid true. is the kid is just on his fucking way, man. He's on his way. Yeah, he's definitely going to be good, man. Dallas I mean, uh, Dallas definitely snuck in there getting uh what is he, he's from California. He's like a Filipino dude from California, isn't yeah, he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. And his brother Nick Robertson. Oh yeah. Yeah, he plays for Toronto. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yep, yeah, they're brothers. Nick, Nick Robertson and Jason Robertson, two of those guys, man, I swear. They're fucking I don't know what their descent is. Like, Nick Suzuki from Montreal, he has Japanese descent. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're Filipinos. Yeah, they might be. I'm almost I, I, th- I think you're. I think you're correct. Should we fact check that? Yeah, I think I'm looking it up right now. That. Yeah. I'm almost positive, though. Yeah, I think you're right. Because he's like the first Filipino star to like be like a star in the NHL or something, I think, like that shit. Let's see. Oh, man. I think Dallas messed up by getting rid of Klingberg. That's I don't. What, I don't think so. I do, man. I always he, thought that dude was a bit overrated, man. Well, he's putting it up in Anaheim, man. He's putting it up in Anaheim. He scored a nice one the other night. Anaheim, what a fucking! It's a shitty city to go to, man. What a dumpster fire that is, man. Dude, they literally have like Z grass, and that's it. And Klingberg, that's it. Like you don't have anybody else. Yeah, no, they don't. They don't have nothing, man. Oh, dude, no, they're fucking. They're ass, dude. They're literally ass. At this point, Montreal played them the other night. I think. Did they? Or maybe it was Arizona. Either way, whoever's the worst team in the league, and like Montreal was like, fucking, the like underdog and they still came back and won it in overtime so that was beautiful for oh, me oh Arizona yeah yeah I remember that because Arizona, that was the first time all season that Arizona's actually been the favorite win yeah there you go that's what I yeah so that must suck for Arizona but I mean Arizona got shafted anyway dude <laughs> go from an NHL size arena to you're now playing in like you're now playing in a fucking cracker jack box like what we have down at mile 1 like dude that's not fucking big enough man uh, it doesn't i'm looking on robertson page now but it doesn't say what descent he is oh damn i i'm i'm almost I, positive i heard filipino before yeah i think you're right on that one man there's just just <laughs> no I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Put no. a pin in it. Yeah, let's just... Put a pin in it there, Dougie. We'll, we'll skip over that. Uh, any we'll listeners over. here will understand where I was going. Understand. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, so, how do you think Martin St. Louis is doing in his second year? Dude, honestly... For a guy that came in halfway through a season, took the star player and really lit a fire under his ass to come into a team that's desperately needing a rebuild. Um, Just working with what you have and being away from the game for so long at that point. Let's just make that a factor. Like, Oh, yeah. Dude, he's been incredible, man. You know, like... Personally, for me, I'm a Habs fan, big Habs fan. Love their cup run to, you know, 2021, their final run, whatever it may be. Uh, But at the end of the day, you can't deny that they're in need of a desperate rebuild. But Martin St. Louis is taking that with, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Maybe adversity or something like that. But, dude, he's really just going in there and saying, hey, Let's just play friggin' hockey. He's just really walking in and being like, hey, guys, let me touch your balls, please. Let me touch your sticks, you mean? No, man. Dude, he's he just like- wants to touch the balls. There's no <laughs> there's no gay innuendo here. 
I don't know, man. They don't play with balls. Just straight man. up gayness. No innuendo. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Get your fucking I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, but no, nah, man. At the end of the day, St. Louis came in for a team that needs a rebuild, dude. And he fucking, I don't know. He definitely, exactly what you're saying. He fucking grabbed it by the balls. He fucking squeezed the balls and fucking juiced yeah, them, man. He I mean. fucking juiced them. Yeah, that's a good explanation. Toronto, Toronto's been pretty lucky that the goaltending situation has panned out the way that it has this year. Let's talk about Samsonov and his... What a fucking gem. Dude, dude. That dude is on a prove-it contract right now, and he's getting paid. If Toronto doesn't pay this dude, dude. they're... Listen. Honestly, they... They got, get, they got their heads up their ass if they don't pay this dude. Dude, I'm a Habs fan. And I can fully admit that this tandem they have of Murray and Samsonov is just, yeah, they they struck out with that one. I think no, I think Duba Dubas got lucky. Yeah, like that's what I mean. Like they they struck out with that. Like you fucking you weaseled in there. You know you got two solid goaltenders, man. Well, started listen. the fucking season with both of them injured, basically yeah. one after another. They went down, and it was not looking good in Leafland. No, but now the Leafs are looking fucking beautiful. Yeah. That's coming from a goddamn Habs fan. But anybody... Nothing at, matters. At the end of the day, man, I'm not just a Habs fan. I'm a hockey fan. Yeah. And you know what? At the end of the day, nothing matters if they don't get out of the first fucking round. <laughs> well, you know... I will burn like, anything I own that's fucking uh, Leafs fucking related you know that's what? not already half burned. With this goalie tandem, man, this might be their best shot. Yeah, we probably just jinxed it. Somebody will fucking sneeze on Murray <laughs> and he'll catch a fucking goddamn incurable fucking disease and never be able to play hockey again and (laughs) Samsonov will break his fucking femur and not be able to play for the next two years. Let's just hope Samsonov doesn't have to play Washington in the first round. Let's hope he does because he'll fucking he'll that'll light a fire on his ass. It don't even look like Washington's gonna make the fucking playoffs. Bro, he blew his first lead he blew his first game back to Washington. Samsonov did. So I'm hoping that that's enough to get his jitters out. Yeah. You know, I'd say. I think that's a lot, like, with a lot of, like, players and stuff that, you know, you're going back to the team you used to play for, you know, stuff like that. So yeah. maybe, maybe you got a lot of jitters. I mean, Oh, there definitely is. Because, I mean, you're playing against a lot of your friends. You know that they know how you play. Cause so you, it's yeah. got to get in your head. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. But you know what? If I think with the team the Leafs have, like, you know, like Matthews, you got your Marner, who's just coming off a fucking 23-game point streak. Crazy. Which is insane. Just franchise new record. Franchise re- Exactly. Yeah. You know, you got guys like that. Like, they're solid damn hockey players, man. And nobody can deny that. I don't care if you're a Leafs fan, you're a Habs fan, Sens fan, or whatever you may be, man. Like, at Newfoundland the end of the- Growlers fan. <laughs> growlers fan. Like, at the end of the day, you can't deny a solid hockey player. Yeah, bro, exactly, like, 100%. Just, just this is fact of the matter. Like, you know, it's recognized talent where you see it, and that's, you know, sports, music, reading, writing, speaking, f- all that types of shit. Oh, just yeah. recognize the talent where you see it, man, because everybody, you know, no matter how little your fan base may be or how maximized your fan base may be, you know, you deserve to be recognized if you have crazy ass talent. Yeah. Uh, well, that's a hundred percent true. Uh, going back to Washington for a second, man. Ovi about to fucking break. Did he break house record yet? I don't think Not. he did. He's still one goal behind it, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He's still yeah. chasing it, but he's, it's done this year. Having house kids there the other night while he was chasing it. That must have been cool, man. Dude, 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 I tell you. Ovi's got to be inv- reinvigorated now, well, man. Do you know the, the inspiration and motivation he's got to be feeling now, knowing he's that close to breaking well, a goal a goal record that nobody thought would ever get broken? Well, it's like this. I thought of, I was reading something. Ovi has spoken with the coaches and, like, general managers of Washington. Yeah, And he's I like, that. I don't want to rebuild while yeah. I'm chasing the goal. Basically, so, He like, wants to trade if they're going to rebuild. Like, when he... Breaks that record, I'm almost certain he's retiring. Like, he's oh, done. Yeah, he's done. Yeah. Like, Crosby and Ovi came into the league at the time when Lemieux and Messier and 
you yeah. know, guys New generational like that were talents. Retired. Exactly. New so. generational talents. And you're seeing them right now with Connor McDavid and Cole McCarr and like all, yeah. Marner and all these people, Eggs. right? And like Matthews Caulfield. and shit. And Caulfield, Caulfield and Suzuki like and all that. Those guys. Like they're all the new generation. Yeah. So it's like every every decade we're getting this new new fresh faces to the NHL that sparks a new yeah. fucking light, you know? They used to, they but, got Yarmar Yager who's still playing fucking hockey games at 50 years uh, old. Dude, and people have their doubt, doubted Yager, I'd say, fucking years and years ago. And now the guy's like, ah, shit, yeah, I'll strap on the skates again. I mean, albeit it's for his own team, but... No, I mean... Even so, to play the game at that but, age. But he doesn't play consistently now. He, no, no, he no. only strapped them on when they were going to lose a game and forfeit because of an injury. Yeah, so he was like, fuck it. But, you know, give Yager credit, man. It's not easy to strap him Imagine on having that and being able to pull it out of your back pocket. Bro, we got two assists. Yeah, which is fucking <laughs> wicked, man. Honestly, like when you think about it. he played. I, what did he, I think he played like 18 minutes or something and got two assists. Yeah, dude. And to go in there like... He probably hasn't played hockey in months. Maybe practice. Dude, probably. he's definitely playing hockey. He's probably skating and fucking playing shinny with the boys almost every day. Maybe. When he's like when he's out there, he's definitely around the around the arena and when he's not doing other stuff, he's around there and he's definitely out on the ice with him. Mm. You know he's gotta be. You, but he, like it's full, his team. He wants this team to be doing good. You but th- like you full know? contact. I don't know, but maybe, man. He's a beast. He's oh, like he's like the European yeah. Gordy Howe, bro. This is this this do be the facts. This yeah, be the facts. Like he, it didn't seem like he was when he was younger, but all of a sudden, when he got a bit older, it started to seem like he just developed a bit more grit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. Especially when he played with Philly for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> dude, he turned into a fucking beast, dude. He was just putting numbers up. Yeah. Dude, Put numbers up and taking bodies out. Man, I think he would have been... Uh, it would have been cool to see the NHL send him back to, like, Pittsburgh for one more year, retire his number, retire him from the NHL, let him go on to whatever league he's in now and just be done. Yeah, it would have been good, but, you know... You know like Montreal with Subban. Now that Subban's done in the NHL... Yeah, I saw that. January 12th, he's coming... I think it's the 12th of January. He's coming back to Montreal versus Nashville, and they're going to, like... Honoring, yeah, they're honoring you him. Know, yeah. it's, it's cool, you know. Dude's retired after <laughs> however many seasons. You know, he's a big uh, thing for the Habs, but that's besides the point. Yeah, and I mean, he's still young, he, and it yeah. isn't isn't he like some kind of analyst now or something? Yeah, yeah, he's a sports center analyst. I think maybe TSN, I, one of the companies, anyway. But dude, like, he knows the game. At the end of the day, Subban knows the game. He knows he did it. During the playoffs, and he was great at it, actually. I loved him as an analyst. Uh, so it'll be a good, fresh face, I think, per se. Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely, it definitely is going to help out. It seems like a lot of people either really, really like him or really, really don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But but it but it's good for, that kind of stuff is good for ratings, right? Yeah, you know absolutely. what I mean? absolutely. And, like, he seems like a really good people person, so. And I think... I think a lot of his time in Montreal, too, like, with people that didn't like him, it was mainly because, like, he liked to move with the puck. Yeah. He was a... He wanted to... He wanted to... Produce and play make instead of being what he was... Defensive. That's what he was. He yeah, was a he, he wanted to, he was an off he wanted to be an offensive D, but he should have yeah. been a stay at home D. Exactly. And but you know, I loved he him. He was a Montreal. liability a lot when he was on offense, man. Yes. But at the end of the day, Shea Weber. Great well, he, he fucking Subban had a great heavy shot just like Shea Weber, man. Mm-hmm. And that that trade at the end of the day was it was good for both teams. Shea Weber retired now with Montreal, basically. Yeah, well, Montreal's still paying him, but he's not playing. Fucking dead, man. Well, he's hurt. He'll never play again. Nah, dude. After that playoff He run, hasn't officially retired, but he'll never play again. That was the closest to the cup. Yeah. He will ever be... And he probably put his body through shit to get him there. Him and Carey Price, man. Like, Carey Price is done. He won't play hockey again. Bro. And NHL 23, Carey Price's r- overall rating is 70. Yeah, dude, because he's fucking, he's gone down now. Like, he's not the top in the league anymore. That's like No, just but that's a hard, and... that's a hard drop off, though. I don't think he should be a 70, bro. He's Maybe still like a... 80 yeah. or something like that. But yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Damn. Really? I was, yeah. Fuck, 
dude. I was like, whoa, what the fuck? I have yet to play that game. Before you leave, we'll fucking run a game. Yeah, dude. Man. Let's, man. But a game you'd like. WWE 2K22, man. Yeah, I really want to try that game, man. That game. I must say, they... We were going to play it last time you were over here when you got too <laughs> fucking drunk and fell asleep. Uh, yes. But, dude, that game, dude, like, honestly, and the sound might have just got fucked there for the listeners because I was backing up a little bit, but, uh, I, so I bought all the characters, just said, fuck it, because, you know, I'm a cheapskate, don't want to do the fucking work, because I ain't got time for that. So just give me all the characters, let me set my matches. That's what I'm about. Perfect, beautiful. But if you do the showcase, it's like a Rey Mysterio showcase. You could still unlock more shit. Okay. That you can't actually buy. So it was cool. It was like different Shawn Michaels from like 2005, Rey Mysterio's Sick. from 2006, Eddie Guerrero's, like different characters and shit like that. Yeah, man. But dude, the game is really well. Like you could be. <clears throat> completely beating the shit out of somebody dude and then all of a sudden they get a finisher and just fuck you up like you're done like it's it's crazy how like momentum can turn in the game like it can in actual wrestling yeah like it's so fucked it's crazy man but i fucking 10 out of 10 great game wwe i find really listened to the viewers and stuff like that since the shit release of 2K20 because that was fucking horrible. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played a wrestling game in a while. I think the last one I played was 2K14. Oh, man. Well, I'm going to have to bring 2K22 over here. Or even when we go to my house for my birthday shit because I don't think we know that we're doing... They don't know this is a, also a birthday podcast for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I don't think we did actually announce that yet. No, we're, we're sat here drinking. Uh, it's actually 2.04 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> uh, we just kind of... Been chilling out, having a few beers. Uh, speaking of which, Dougie, you want to pass me over one of those? <laughs> I uh, crack open sure. another one. I got that one all gone. We ha- we also had my woman over for a little bit. That was cool. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was actually the first time I met her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, buddy, that's the love of my life. <laughs> you know, no, she's, yeah, she's cool, man. You know, it was cool. You're really the only uh, buddy I talk to other... Obviously, like, some of the music guys, you know, that we, we normally talk to. Shit like that, you know, but uh, I don't talk to many people, man. It's like, so it's nice to just be in a zone where I can bring the female and, sh- and, you know, you're not weirded out about it and stuff like that. So, you know, it's cool. It's cool to have a vibe like that, you know? Nah, fuck that. Never bring her again. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. She'll stay at home. I'm just, just fucking kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to listen to this and be like, what the fuck? Yeah, was, I'm just kidding. I love you, honey. I'll be home soon, I swear. 7 a.m. rolls around. <laughs> Dougie shows up on mushrooms. Bro, she'll just be waking up for work at this time, dude. She got to work at like 8 a.m., dude. Or else <laughs> she'd still be sat here like cuddling fucking King. That's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> she was like, oh, I'm sorry. King got a lot of excitement out, though, didn't you, little bastard? Uh, well, hey, look, it's better than what happened last time I introduced a girl to King. Yeah, because, you should tell that. Dude, man, let's get into that because, okay. So I had an ex-girlfriend. And babe, I'm sorry for talking about the ex-girlfriend on the podcast, but this is so funny that we just need to tell these people. So we brought her over, you know, we were drinking. Dude, wasn't it close to your birthday then too? Yeah, it was actually. Yeah. So it was going to be like more birthday drinks. So brought her over. So before we actually get into it, this girl turned out to be the fucking hell for me. (laughs) And it just was bad it was a bad time overall that's yeah. for the next podcast we talk about we'll go into that story there was cops involved all that shit so you guys will love it um anyways we brought her over i think we were here for like we weren't even in the door 20 seconds and good old frank's dog here was like hey this bitch is not good yeah he you wasn't need, feeling it <laughs> you need to get rid of her Cocks his leg up and just pisses on her foot and her shoe. Literally just pissed on the bitch. <laughs> Me and Frank looked at each other, fucking busted out laughing. She's flipping. Yeah, she was not having it. <laughs> Chill. She apparently did not like golden showers. 
or bestiality porn? Not at all. Because <laughs> I was looking and I was like, ah, that's what's up. But dude, oh man, that girl, man. That girl looked like she belonged in bestiality porn. Dude, that girl was bestiality porn. What does that say about you? <sighs> says I'm into some that weird says some shit. very illegal things about you. <laughs> <laughs> I was blinded by the. Nah, it's not even love, man. I I don't know what I was blinded by, but by God, listen, most she could do was suck a dick. Okay, and that sounds bad to say on a podcast, but listen, that's no, what she no, had, no, it doesn't. Fucking let it let it rain. That's Fuck what it. that's what she had going for. Her, okay, she could suck a mad dick. <laughs> okay, uh, babe, I'm sorry if you're listening to this shit, but man, that girl, that pff, shit, dude. I think that's what kept me around for so long. It was, like, <laughs> dude. It was like the last eight months of our relationship, whatever the fuck we were going through. She'd be like, "You want to fuck?" I'd just be like. Nah, but you can suck it though. And she just bob on it, and I'm just like, "Okay, hey, fuck off." And I go upstairs. Oh man, yeah, because you guys were living together then, still were you, dude? Listen, okay, okay, we need to get into details. So, the bitch falsely accused me of some bullshit. Uh, said I beat the fuck out of her. Anyways, had like an eight month court process. Um, so, anyways, I went to court, proved my innocence, this and that. But what? people didn't know is the whole time the court process was going on this may be incriminating myself but i don't really give a shit because yeah, i can't do over. shit now exactly exactly frank it's already over <laughs> whole time it was going on what was she doing so this girl was living in my house you know whatever i wanted it was happening you know sex fucking man this sounds so fucking controlling but i swear to god it wasn't she was offering she, <laughs> she was just like, you want me to blow it? I was like, I'm not going to say no. You know, shit like that. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> she, like We were, so my dad and my uncle were living in the upstairs flat and we had like a whole house and there was an unfinished like basement apartment. So we just left it as a basement. So I lived down there, made a like apartment down there, whatever. I'd go upstairs to use the kitchen, bathroom, whatever the fuck. But I had a living room, bedroom, everything downstairs. Yeah. So she'd stay on the bed. I'd stay on the couch for a whole summer, <coughs> just doing whatever. That was best kind. Um, so, yeah, she'd just be like, what do you need? What do you want? Just weird fucking shit like that. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm on a blowjob, man. I'm a guy, okay, at the end of the day. Got to get my rocks off. But <laughs> the thing is. She'd be like, well, you're going to eat this. And I'm be like, yeah, okay, no problem. So <laughs> we'd do it. I'd finish. And then she'd be like, okay, my turn. And I'd just be like, yeah, no. And I'd do my shit up and go to fuck upstairs. <laughs> 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 so that's the best kind. Um, so then, I don't know. I just, it was like, I spent a whole eight months of this court process just like, being a prick to this girl just because of what she did to me. Like, there was a time she hauled her last ice cream out the freezer, man. And I swear, I wa- <laughs> me and my uncle were just ripping bong hits in the fucking kitchen, dude. And I just walked up, ripped the ice cream out of her hand, and I fucking jammed it to her forehead. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, you're a unicorn now. And, <laughs> dude, she got so <laughs> fucking mad, bro. I like she threw the fucking ice cream at the wall, dude. She ripped it off her head. It's like, that was my last fucking ice cream. <laughs> just, boom, ice cream over the wall. Me and my uncle are in the fucking knots. Yeah, and she's just mad, tripping the fuck out. No, she didn't think of it coming back ten seconds later and licking it off the wall. Oh, dude, her fat ass. You know it did, man. All that girl thought about was fucking food. You fucking mix some Kool-Aid. She's walking in like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Busting in the wall like fucking Kool-Aid, man. Pff, oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck sakes, yeah, man. Yeah, dude, that girl. Listen, that girl was a fucking. That was a girl that taught me the lessons of what I don't want in a fucking Yeah, we shouldn't be talking too loud. She lives in the fucking same city still. She might bust through the wall right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck sakes, mm. man. Didn't she fucking, like, get your car impounded one time, too? Yes. Yes, she did. I was at your house. Yep. We were drinking. Yep. And the fucking bitch, the <laughs> cops whipped her in. I told her, if the cops come, run. <laughs> she, she didn't listen. Yeah. She hauls over. I'm like, listen, bitch. 
8K now. It might be my fault because, like, at the time, I didn't realize there was no insurance on the car. I had insurance on the car. They didn't send me a cancellation package. Shit like that. Okay, so I told her, I said, there might be some, there might not be some. I don't know. Bitch knew anyways, that's besides the point. She took the fucking car and then tried to bitch at me. And I'm almost certain that bitch flashed her titties at the cop, man, because I got hauled over, like, three weeks later. And, man, that cop was a dick. Well, you know, they probably had something on the record about the car. Same same cop that arrested me, actually, funny enough. Really? Yeah. He, he, he impounded my car and arrested me. I told him point blank. I was like, I don't like you because every time I see you, something bad happens. And this was before he arrested me. Cock soccer, dude. Sounds about right. And then he tried to talk to me about drugs, and I was like, bro, I'm not even arrested for drugs. Listen, cops this day and age are fucking the last people to be talking about drugs. Dude, half of them are on fucking drugs, bro. Well, that's what I mean. Like, they got to be on something the way <laughs> half of these fucking cops are acting, especially in the States, man, with all these fucking <sighs> cops killing people and shit. Oh, dude. Listen, I work at, uh, let's say this properly so I don't give myself uh, a way. Pres- I work at a psychiatric hospital. And I see lots of cops on a daily basis, and I swear, man, half of them tell me they fucking hate their job, dude. Like, they fucking... Let's be honest. Would you like your job if you were a cop? No, nah, man, because I, I know for a fact I'd be a dirty cop. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure lots of them probably are anyways. But... Oh, absolutely, dude. Half of them don't give a fuck. If you offer them a fucking cocaine or some bullshit, like, dude, psh, no sweat. Well, I mean, you're probably not going to be able to offer some regular run-of-the-mill cop anything as a normal person and get away with it. Even, but even if they, like, go into a situation where it's, like... But if they are if they go into a situation where they're arresting somebody, a criminal, say, mm. and it's, like, a drug dealer or they get somebody who's got a lot of cash and shit like that, I'd say some of that's probably going to not get reported and make it back to lockup. <laughs> some's just going to get tucked in the pocket. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, body cams are making that shit harder these days, but oh, not every cop has a body cam. And, like, do they even have them here? And, I mean, if they do have them here, are they even on? Well, that's what I was just going to say, too, right? Because. And mysteriously not working that day? They have damn <laughs> dash cams, but I know for a fact they don't leave their dash cams on. No, man. Dude, they don't give a fuck, man. They're on, but, they, but if it's ever anything that favors you, it won't be on. Well, no. <laughs> Question is, it may be on, but is it recording? Oh, he mysteriously had a glitch and doesn't work today. <laughs> hoo hoo. Oh, huh, huh. Listen, man, the way I see it is they're all <laughs> fucking pigs. Like you said earlier, I might have been born one night, but it wouldn't last night, was it? Ah, ain't that the fucking truth, man? Listen, that's what, you know what? That's fucking what cops think. They think everybody is born the fucking night before. Like, come on, man. Yeah, it wouldn't last night. I was born today. Buddy, that's that's the facts, my son. <laughs> Holy shit, you really were. Fuck's sake. Listen, can you imagine being born two days before? Man, Christmas is, must have been fucking for you growing up. They were until I was about like six or seven, and then they got shit. <laughs> Did you just get like all your Christmas and birthday yeah. presents in one? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's... Listen, so I got lucky. My birthday is like next month, so it's like right after Christmas. Yeah, well, that's, so what, like, that's, that's why I'm happy my son's birthday is June 1st, so like... Mm, dude, love your son, man. He's a good boy. Yeah. He's wicked, man. A cute picture of him in a tux, man. <laughs> Looking all snap. Bro, he's a fucking lady killer, bro. Lady killer. Yeah. He's going to be a heartbreaker. Or maybe he's going to get his heart broken. Let's hope not, because he's a little stud. Fuck. Say if it he's like anything me. like me, he'll get his heart broken a bunch before he <laughs> oh, smarts the fuck up. We don't need to go. Oh, I just dropped Buddy the just dropped it. <laughs> I mean, it's not the end of the world, my son. Listen to us over here. Sound like proper Newfies, right? Those of you who don't know that may be listening to this, we are actually from St. John's, Newfoundland. Um, Buddy, we don't just fucking diddle around in the fucking jelly bean roll. We have normal houses here, too. Yeah, it's not all fucking codfishes and moose and baloney. Now, we wish it was. Yeah. But by fucking God, life wouldn't be Bologna's too expensive. Buddy, what is it, like fucking $15 for a stick of fucking bologna? 
Probably. Probably like 15 or 20 bucks for a log of fucking bologna, my son. Buddy, that fucking bologna would fucking stay where it's too for that price. Yeah. I mean, realistically, it's probably not good for you anyway, so. <laughs> nah, man, because when I have this stick of bologna, I tend to just go through it in a couple of days. I said, oh, yeah, fried bologna. I don't even, it's funny, I don't even eat, whenever I get it or anything like that, I'll, I'll have it sit in the fridge for a while, and then King will end up getting most of it. <laughs> King, he loves the food, dude. Loves the food, my son. The dog. He would eat everything in this fucking world if he could. Yes, he would, man. And well, he, fuck, what, we, what was he eating earlier? Fucking pepperonis and sausages and pizza. Oh, yeah. He loves it, man. It's a normal Friday night for that fucking dog, man. Listen, if y'all people don't give your dog some fucking human food, you are cruel, okay? I don't care if y'all come at me for this. You are cruel, man. Dogs deserve to taste real goddamn food because that kibbles and bitch shit is bullshit, man. Yeah. Can you imagine just eating that your whole life? Bland ass bullshit your whole life. Just like, oh yeah. Eating Dude. this. How would you feel if you ate the same meal every day for the rest of your life? Like I'm in fucking prison. Pretty much. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Speaking dog. of that dog that I basically got to put in doggy prison when I go to work. Oh, I mean. He's just got to piss and fucking piss. It's and not piss. even because of that. It's because he'll eat all my shit. <laughs> you can come home one day. There's going to be no fucking groceries here because King ate them all. He's going to be sat on the couch. He's going to have his hand on his fucking little tummy. He's going to sat sprawled. He's going to walk in one day and he's going to talk to me in a really low, scruffy voice. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> if so, make sure you're not on shrooms or acid. Well, Fair. Or make sure you are. Usually when I'm coming home, I'm not on any kind of psychedelics. They usually only happens here. Oh, man, I don't know, man. One day you should just do some psychedelics and walk around the city. I mean, I could, but if I was going to do that, I probably wouldn't be coming back here until the trip was over. Yeah, that's probably true, too. It's probably a good idea. Yeah, well, you know. Like I said, King's a very excited dog. <laughs> so if I was on them here... It would probably be a sensory overload or something, man. Ooh, yeah. It would definitely not help uh, my mental. Okay. Sensory overload. You want to talk? Let's talk about when I came over one time. You did the fucking shrooms, and we tried to play NHL. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot did, about that. That did not Fuck, sensory overload. Yeah, I couldn't even look at the TV or <laughs> fuck with the joystick or nothing, man. Bruh, we lost the Stanley Cup. Bruh, yeah. we went all the way. We did a. We started the season. We went all the way to the Cup Final. And we yep. lost. Yeah, we did. Because you were too fucked on the shrooms to continue. I looked over at one point... You were trying to play, but your thumbs were just Listen, not corresponding with the joysticks. Man, I was like, "Oh, it's up the to pressure me now." Trade dead, the pressure trade deadline day is real. Oh, dude. Okay. Listen, there's talks of Habs trading Sean Monahan, and I am severely pissed off about it, this. It'd be kind of smart for him, though. Dude gets no. a dude. Dude gets a bit of fucking value back to him after the way he's played. Yes, but he's been so good. Yeah, but that's when you get rid of him because he was always <laughs> no, because he was always not someone who was going to be there. He was just a peace player. They need to get rid of like Drew Ann and Gallagher and those guys. Yeah. Not these ones that they can, like, they can build off Doc, Caulfield, Suzuki, and Monet. Like, that's a solid core four right there. <clears throat> like, a lot of the other teams, like the Leafs. They Monahan's have, on his downturn, man. I wouldn't put him in there. Man, I don't know, dude. He's been doing good with Montreal, man. He's, like, been setting up but, plays but and he, shit. But that's what it is. He's just been rejuvenated when he goes in. You'd have to see a big, for me, I'd have to see a bigger body sample of work. Fair enough. Fair Without enough. him being on Calgary, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, like, it's the same thing with, like, Goudreau. Goudreau. Oh, dude. How's he doing over in Columbus? I haven't been following a whole lot. I don't lot. think he's doing very good, but Columbus is doing shit. Columbus is, like, the worst team in the league. Like, look it up and see what Goudreau has gotten points. But yeah, I know Columbus, was, it, Columbus at one point was the worst team in the league, I'm pretty sure. I don't think they are right now, but they were. Or at least the Eastern Conference. It's weird, man. Uh, they went out and dropped all this money, and they're really on the 
done a decline. So it's kind of weird that Goudreau ended up wanting to go there. Oh, surprisingly, Goudreau is their second highest goal scorer. Uh, and actually, he has the most assists on the team. That means he's probably first in points, eh? Uh, so, Goudreau... Yeah, he has 34 points. So actually, <laughs> he's Columbus's best player. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Like, yeah. At, well, look at Line A, dude. Line A was not the pickup that he. Threw. Oh, I know. Line A has not panned out at all. He just dude, got hurt, too, didn't he? Nine goals and seven assists. You got 16 points. You're supposed to be a fucking star, bro. Yeah. He really dropped off. I'm pretty sure. He was. Dubois has more points than he does. Yeah. I think so. And, uh, but Line A, Line A's been hurt too. I'm pretty sure he just got put on the injured reserve not long ago. Ooh, again? I think so. Ooh. Well, look at right off the hop here. Luke Dubois, sure, for fuck's sakes. He has 15 goals, 22 assists for the Jets. Oh, you know, man. The Jets have been doing decent. I think he's going to Montreal when he's done with the Jets. <clears throat> I don't know. Bye. I think so. he wants to. He wants to, man, but I don't know. Money talks and bullshit walks. Now, let's talk about Blackhawks. Oh, sweet Jesus Christ. Do you want to talk about dumpster fires? Dude, but that could be good for the Leafs, man, because the Leafs want Kane. I don't. As a Leafs fan, I don't want him. I think we don't need him. I think it rejuvenate him. It might, but (sighs) what are we going to take him another forward for? We need a fucking defender, man. That's true, too. Like, the defense is getting lit up like Swiss cheese almost every fucking game. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're doing they're doing better now, albeit. But, like, we need some more depth. You know what I'm saying? We need more yeah, depth. Yeah. That's true. We need, like, somebody that we can get and maybe put in there on, like, the third line or something and move out fucking hole. Yeah. Hole's on the second or third. I don't know which line he's on. But you gotta move Hall out, man. He's he's a liability. He gets the puck away. He takes stupid penalties. He's oh, I don't dude. know. That's the thing with the NHL too, man. You you really can't afford to take stupid fucking penalties. If okay, and pardon me, I got the hiccups and shit right now. Oh, was this a repeat the other night? We just got past. We nope. were not very far past where we were. No, I didn't smoke any weed right now, so we're good. We're good. Um, but. If you if you have a player that's literally drawn dumbass penalty, it just affects the team. Actually, like Kel McCarr last night called off a penalty against the Islanders. I know, I saw that. What a I fucking like, stupid move, you, man. Like I I get it. Like, yeah, great yeah. on your sportsmanship, but you're a fucking idiot, dude. Well, your didn't team he is gonna be pissed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he came out and said after he'll never do it again. Yeah, he was like, No, that's the first and only like Basically, like, it's the first and only time I'm going to do that because I'd feel less guilty. Like, you, you can't just call off a penalty. Did Colorado win that game? Yes, in overtime. Or a shootout. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. You know. So, do, you know, it was... Maybe he's... Uh, it's a lot maybe, of Maybe the bullshit. fix is in. Mm, just might be. Declining know, penalties man. to uh, try to get it going. But at the end of the day, Colorado is not going to repeat for the Stanley I Cup. I noticed the coach didn't fucking ream him out in between periods in I the locker room. I would have, man. I would have. If he didn't, he should have. I'd say he did, though, because he came out and said he'll never do it again. Listen. So, like, I feel like if... Because, like, if he was if he was going to do it and not do it again, he would have not done it to begin with. You know what I mean? Ovechkin did it one time. Yeah, he did. So did Crosby, too. Yeah. But, I mean... Those are star fucking players. Well, Kale McCarr is becoming was, a star player, is, dude. In this new game, you know what he's you know what he's rated in in, in all the mock drafts that I've done, not the mock drafts, but all the fantasy drafts and shit I've done. Mm. He goes first. He goes before McDavid. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah, he's the best defenseman I've ever seen. Yeah. One of them. <clears throat> like that kid is. He can play. He can play. There's no. There's no doubt about. I'm not discrediting him in any way. He's great, man. Uh, dude, the kid's fucking insane, but don't be stupid and call off fucking power plays, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, that that wouldn't have been good. Mm. 
I don't I don't understand that. It's like if we were playing on a team, man, and fucking it's like a two on two thing per se, and I called off a penalty or something's like, nah, nah, I didn't. You'd be pissed. Yeah. Why the fuck would you? That's I'd get a penalty because I'd fucking hit you. <laughs> Boof. <laughs> I wonder is that a penalty? <laughs> would you get a penalty <laughs> in NHL if you fucking <laughs> decked one of your teammates? Like you can't. Bo- well, actually, whose buddy I'm watching and he whacked his teammate out with the fucking stick, dude, because he was pissed at the ref, bro. <laughs> what? Uh, dude, I got to find Yeah, look it. that up. What the fuck? I, gotta I, gotta find I haven't heard that. Dude, what do you mean? He literally whapped his... The fucking... only dude I remember whapping somebody with a stick was that dude on the Islanders back in the day who fucking took somebody's, like, someone's side of someone's fucking face off. What was that? Chris Simon, I think his name was. I got to find this video. Yeah, I, I want to see that, man. Pull that up. Let me see it. Cause that, that, I don't know exactly what to fucking look up. But man, it was like two weeks ago I saw it. Buddy on Washington fucking... He went to go beat his stick off the fucking bench, but the way he swung it, it whapped his teammate in the fucking face. <laughs> oh, man. What? <sighs> you say it was recently? Yeah, man. Man, I want to see that. I want to see that. You got to find that. I need to find this. Yeah, you got to bring that up for me, man. Oh, it was a senator's. Hold on now. Ah, see, slowly but surely, I'm finding it. See, we're getting there. We're getting there somewhere. We're getting there. We're getting there. Thomas like fucking, Shabbat. like cold molasses. I think it was Thomas Shabbat. Really? Yes. He hit Travis Hamannick. Really? So, I'm stepping away from the mic. Okay. Let's see this shit. Yeah, let's bring it over here. Over here so I can see. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude, just fucking wait for it, dude. Like, it's fucking atrocious. He reached in. There's a bit of back and forth going on. If it starts to go dark, just tap the screen. Yeah. Oh, what What the fuck was that? He hit his own teammate in the face with a stick. You see it? Dude, it's fucking ridiculous, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, he fucking whapped him, bro. Dude. Like, man, oh my God. he fucking creamed his He whacked his stick. I don't think he meant to hit his teammate, but he whacked oh, his no. stick. Yeah, dude, he Because he was pissed and out. fucking hit him right in the face. All right. Dude, that's ridiculous. So on this podcast... I have to take a piss this time, but this time it's actually a piss, and I will be back in a minute. Yeah, okay. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> and when I come back, I'm going to say, fuck you, Frank. Okay, we'll see how it goes. I don't know how you're going to get through without fucking everything up. Oh, 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 oh. You touched the mic. You touched the mic. You hit the, you hit the lava. You hit the lava. If the mic went weird, it was because I Dougie. Lost an ass cheek. Yeah, it's because Dougie literally, you can't see it, but I'll describe it. Cheek. He just literally tried to shimmy underneath the mic stand and go across for some reason. He could have literally walked around the back of the couch, I'm pretty sure. There looks like there's enough room over there. It's kind of off the wall. He moved the couch up a little bit closer to the mic so we could have this uh, podcast and stuff. Um, we went to Long McQuaid today and uh, got some new stuff. I got uh, a new Rodecaster podcast interface and uh, a new Rode mic. Uh, I already had a Rode mic as well. So that's two. I got two of the same mic. Perfect for the setup for podcasts. We're actually going to start videotaping some podcasts coming up here in the near future. Um, Got a few different people coming up that are going to be on the podcast as well. Uh, All of these have only been on the radio station as of now. But they're gonna be uploaded to Spotify very soon. I'm uh, I'm gonna start going that route with it as well. Why not? Uh, we're gonna do some videos for them as well. They're gonna be up on YouTube in the near future. Uh, I'm restarting the vlog that I had on the go as well. Uh, it's gonna be good, man. I can't wait. Oh my God, is that a Douglford? Wow, it's Douglas A. Rutherford. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh, you just yeah, just move the couch back you a bit. You can here. slide on in your best kind there, my son. Just and then I got glove. We did it. Slid right in. My dog is looking at him now like We've he's ridiculous. We've accomplished the uninevitable. I don't even know if that's the right word, but that's the word we're going with. So, ha <laughs> Yeah, you really threw that one out there. I don't know what you were trying to say, but it didn't sound right. No, it did not. Give me a puff of your vape. Oh, my God. Dougie's on the vape. That might have been what fucked you up the other night, though, too, right? No, it was the weed, man. I swear. That weed you had was just fucking <laughs> bomb as shit, dude, because I did a token my shit earlier, and it didn't fuck me up. You know what's funny? I did a token your shit earlier, and it fucked me up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Maybe it's because I've been smoking on it Yeah it's what we're used to and what we're not used to Right it's like I was saying earlier I, th I was thinking it was the bong but it wasn't the bong This is fucking wicked though Yeah yeah that's the There's Strawberry no ice Yeah they're vice boxes they're 6,000 puffs How much are these? Uh, Like 33 bucks Or some shit taxes in right now But when that new tax comes in January 1st There's gonna be more well, I tell you, y'all, it's becoming quite expensive to fucking vape. Yeah. But at least like, we can still get flavor. Yeah, that's, that's be the facts. If you need flavor, come to Newfoundland. We got all sorts. Yeah, fuck that. Stay away. I want it for ourselves. It's true. We will kill you. Nah. I mean. Frank we, won't. Dougie will. We might drink you under the table or something. <laughs> yeah, we will. That's that's a lie, too. We do. Newfies are definitely known for fighting. Fighting, drinking, man, and fucking. Between the Irish and Newfies, man, I don't know who's worse for fighting and drinking, man. I've heard, like, because I know some people from, like, like some of Irish descent, and they say Newfies are just as fucking bad, dude. Like, for drinking and shit like that, like, compared to the Irish, man? Ah, fuck, I don't know, bro. Yeah, well, what would you expect? We're literally the same thing, just on the other side of the pond. But I want to go to Dublin so bad. Me too, man. Lie down, King Buddy. You're going to knock the mic. Good boy. Good puppy doggy. I just saw a dog ass. Yeah. I just, you, you got that little starfish in your face, did you? I did. I did. Yeah. He a yeah. pink starfish. Oh, I thought he was going to go back to sleep, but now he's licking his paws. Fucking doggy. Yo, it's funny, boy. man. Uh, uh, that dog, he's such a good dog most of the time. And sometimes he just does such Ooh. like defiant things randomly out of nowhere <laughs> like earlier yeah the prick and like dude sometimes like he'll randomly if i like i was saying if i don't Excuse put up me. the the gate in the going into the living room he'll look for stuff that smells like me and chew it up oh bro he just loves his daddy so much yeah i feel like he has some kind of like separation anxiety or something man i gotta get him some cbd treats Oh man, you know what though? My my old cats, God love them. I fucking miss them to this fucking day. Had them for three years, man. But they, my boy, trouble. Um, Trubsky. Good old Trubs. You know, I <laughs> it's going to sound fucked, but I'm going to say R.I.P. Trubs because he's resting in peace to me because I really don't know what the fuck's going on out there with him. I had to rehome him, gave him to my mom, and she rehomed him. And, you know, I miss him to this day. They were my babies. Um, but, you know, situations arise and you just, you got to do what's right for them because I was moving a lot and it just wasn't right. But that's besides the point. Um, he had separation anxiety. So, like, if I left the house and stuff, he was a lot of, like, a lot of time very vocal, just meowing all the time and shit. When yeah. I come home. Oh, dude, I'd notice it because when I, yeah. I, I stayed with you a bit, he, I'd notice him be like it whenever I'd walk in. Yeah. Or, like, uh, if he didn't realize I was in the room, I'd hear him walking around the house meowing. Yeah, so he'd just be, like, looking for somebody, and then as soon as he sees somebody, that's gone. Yeah. Now I'm saying I miss that fucking cat to this day. He was a good cat, man. Man, I love that cat, dude. I fucking wish I still had him, but, oh, man, I'd do anything to have him back right now. Yeah. But, you know, you, you got to go with whatever life throws at you, so unfortunately, that's what life threw at me. Yeah, to roll with the man. punches, man. But... I was a good cat dad. Oh, yeah. I would go without food to make sure they had food, you know, shit like that. You know, they were my babies, man. And it's the opposite with me, right? My dog makes sure my dog makes sure I go without food so he has food. Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, at the end of the day, they're like kids, man. We got to take care of them. Oh, yeah. I and mean, they just... can't take care of themselves. 
No, dude. Like, had the, you can't send a cat or the dog to the fucking store to go buy food. Oh, I mean, you probably could, but if you if you learn that king, then fuck. Well, he's not gonna learn it. He'll teach him. But I'm sure there's a dog somewhere in fucking <laughs> Switzerland or Norway or fuck. Who the fuck you think you got? Fucking Marmaduke. Marmaduke is yes, spy. <laughs> Marmaduke don't go do that. A Swiss, a Swiss Marmaduke. Man, I hope I go home. No offense, but babe, I, I I love you to death, but I really hope you're sleeping. <laughs> I'm so fucking like oh. sleepy, bro. Dougie's oh. girlfriend is gonna hear this podcast and she's gonna break up with him. Yeah, probably. I'm probably fucked at the end of this. So, you know, I love you, babe. It was a great, great time. Um, if Listen, you're gonna break up with me, thank you. She can't. It's my birthday. You this were gonna true. come hang out with me. It's true. It's illegal to break up with me on Lloyd's birthday, so yeah. don't think about it. And it's Christmas after that. So, and then New Year's, mm-hmm. and then after that is Valentine's. And then it's my Day. birthday. Yeah, then no, Valentine's Day. No, my birthday yeah, before the, Valentine's yeah, Day. So. Yeah, yours, then Valentine's Day. So, like, you, you know. Really got to wait till March. So, if you're going to do it, <laughs> do it at least after his birthday, but before Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And But don't make it because it's something too bad so he can kind of rekindle that after Valentine's Day so he doesn't have that expense. At least give me something I can use for music. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> Shit, I'm not. No, Oof. I'm just. I'm just kidding. I really Oof. am. Oh my god, she's gonna kick my nuts. Yeah, bro. She's, ah, she's not gonna come. Want to be around my dog anymore? She will. Dude, she loved that dog more than she loved me. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Yeah, fair. I ain't never seen that look. King saw that look more than I saw that fucking look. She was sat on the floor fucking playing with him for like a half hour. Yeah, was she playing my dick for a half hour? <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, no, not Jesus, Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, fuck Dougie, Dougie got nothing to do with this at this point, <laughs> Mr. Fifield, hey, hey, this is too much information for this podcast, listen, 90% of the people that are listening are going to know who you are anyways, this is, these do be the facts, and you know I, what, you to never, all of you guys, I am to all five of you, I am currently sitting with my hand on my dick, and no, I, he's not. You're sitting right in front of me. Don't lie he's fully to them. Closed, don't but lie I'm not. to them. Don't lie to them. He's fully closed, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been sitting here in a speedo this whole time. And he's kind of been stroking his nipples, and uh, it's been kind of interesting. I don't need to stroke them. They're always hard, man. I got some kind of... I know of, they're like fucking diamond I, cutters. I got some weird-ass hard nipple syndrome or something, man. <laughs> like, hey, hey, I don't know what the fuck is going on over here. You're he fucking poking me in the eyes. Every time I turn around, it's fucking... Boink, boink. That's a bit weird. Nipples in the eyes, man. You never had nipples in the eyes? Uh, no, I never said that, but my nipples in your eyes is a bit weird. As in you, you sitting in a fucking speedo when I'm not even fucking <laughs> naked. That's what's weird. <laughs> Okay. Let's not talk about right, what's let's weird. Let's paint this picture properly here. I'm actually not sitting here in a fucking speedo. Nobody is naked. We're just putting on a ruse. Is that the proper word? Or is word? that a ruse? A ruse. A ruse. Settle down, a ruse. Archer. A ruse. <laughs> it was a ruse. It was a ruse. I fucking love Archer, man. I haven't watched Ooh. Archer in a while. That show is so funny, man. So fucking funny, man. Well, dude, no. What's that episode we watched that one time? When you did the fucking, in the summer, when I fucking walked home that day, it was like, it was like fucking mimic Bob's Burgers. And oh, I was, yeah. I was well, it's the, same, it's the same guy, right? Yeah, like the but, same guy voices Bob from Bob's Burgers and Archer. Yeah, but they were like so fucking adamant on just like making it Bob's Burgers. I was like, oh, man, I was like, this is comedic gold. Yeah. I, mean, was, I didn't watch a whole lot of Archer before then i guess but like man i love archer man i got i got funny. a bunch of it on my computer downloaded i do that's just just fucking funny i love it oh excuse me stupid fucking comedic shit like that like adult cartoons man yeah like i mean you got your typical family guy simpsons that bullshit but i mean we've seen that since we're fucking kids man yeah so, these new shows like Archer, uh, Big Mouth, shit like Big that. Big Mouth, that's a good one too, man. I forgot about that show. Dude, that is 
funny, dude. That is funny as fuck, dude. man. I'm actually probably going to watch some of that tonight. <laughs> dude, I was thinking that, too. As soon as, I, like, the girlfriend, she's going to be sleeping in my bed. So, like, weird to get into, but, like, we do this thing, like, we keep our separate rooms just, like, for nights we're not working, shit like that, you know, if, you know, I'm sprawling out too much or she's sprawling out too much and, you know, we're just, like, kicking each other off the fucking bed. So it's like, okay, I need to work, so I'm just going to go to this bed. So we have, like, two separate beds in case one of us feels like, you know, one of them's being too more, like, kicky and shit during our sleep. Anyways. Or in case one of you is in the fucking doghouse. Well, then then there's that. <coughs> <Yes>. uh, Ryan. <laughs> Not when I go home. <laughs> Don't make me send you a video. <laughs> Free porn. That got weird quick. Did it? Are you sure? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay, no, but besides the point, um, I don't know how my fucking vape just died already. That's bullshit, dude. I'm here turning on a fucking USB mouse, man, and my laptop's fucking back there. Why? Why did you just pick up a USB mouse and turn it on, bro? I don't know. I'm just here into turning things on right now. Apparently, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a that's a bit weird, man. Uh, yeah, uh, no, I don't even know where I was going with this fucking topic, dude. But uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know where you were going with it either, Something man. about Big Mouth. Oh, yes, yeah, she's going to be sleeping in my bed, and I'm going to watch Big Mouth. <laughs> there you go. I love how that just went full circle. She'll wake up for work, and... And you'll get some Big Mouth. That's genius. <laughs> <laughs> Click that fucking applause over there. <laughs> yeah. Got the new equipment today. We're still working it's out still, some Still shit, working out the but, kinks. Uh, these podcasts are about to get lit as fuck. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm I gotta gonna, give you my sounds, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna start uh, trying to do podcasts more often. I'm gonna do some solo ones, and I'm gonna have people around more often for them too, dude. Even just like doing what we're doing, like just sitting down, shooting the shit, man. You don't even need to have a structured plan, dude. I mean, you can structure them out, yes. You it, can, yeah. But. I find like I find this I've done a few of them now and I find this stuff kind of works better when you just let it flow you have a loose at least for me yeah. you kind of have a loose idea of a few things you want to talk about and then you just kind of go with it yeah man no that's absolute facts dude like <clears throat> like for me personally I've been away from all this audio stuff and music stuff just in general to really bigger life out in general and now like coming back into it with more of a fresh mind um a better outlook more persistence and perseverance and to actually want to do it again it doesn't feel like a job so like yeah yeah 100 percent. just and like you've always been a big part of that for me like even like when i was like man i don't think i can do it you're like man take the time for yourself figure out what you want to do with the music. Do you want to do the beats? Do you want to do the rapping? You know, I want to do both. Yeah. But it's like over well, the past year, I've been training myself to be able to accomplish what I want. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes, man. Sometimes <sighs> you, know? you got to take a step back and real realign your focus. So I guess what I'm trying to, it's nice to know I'm not the only one who's out here like expanding my horizons per se. Well, if you want to get yep. anywhere as an artist, you got to do that shit. Oh, dude, you can't be scared to jump into new things, man. If you're not trying new things, you're not doing new things as an artist, you're never going to grow. No, nah, nah, man, no, not at all. And man, I mean, sure, if you don't grow, where you're at could be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It could work. I mean, but it won't work forever. Nah, man. And you also can't be scared to have a shitty mix or have a shitty song or whatever. Like, that's the stuff that makes you grow, man. Yeah, man. It you, builds character. You, like, fucking... You're listening to your mix, and you're like, ah, you know, I, I think this can be better, or I need to cut the lows here more and raise the highs here, like, or raise the mids here. You know, shit like that, man. You know, it's just... I just need you... I, I just think you need to eat more elk. Eat more elk? Yeah. Uh, more elk meat. Dude, I can't find them, man. I've been trying, dude. <laughs> Look, the closest I've come Ch Channeling my inner Joe Rogan here I've I've only found the mooses, man And I was fucked on coke when I saw the moose I think, honestly, that's the first time in my life A moose fucking jumped out at me, dude I was <laughs> fucked on coke, dude I thought I was tripping, bro I fucking I've seen a few meese in my life 
<laughs> you mean? <laughs> 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 bunny over to a new mom, and the fucking meat jumped out at me. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Buddy sounds like he should be at the village mall. Buddy, you mean he spare smokes for me? <laughs> I'm gonna wear a shirt, no spare smokes. <laughs> dude, Jesus. Bruh, you're. You know, because you've been on the bus, dude. You're just chilling. Bro, I don't even want to talk about You're the fucking waiting for the, These motherfuckers, bro. You got some smokes. No, bro, I don't smoke. Do I look like I smoke? I am fucking. Bro, I, I've been asked for people. People ask me for cigarettes all the time. And I'm like, bro, I, as I'm sitting there smoking a vape right in front of them, right? Like, bro, do you not see me smoking a vape? <laughs> I was. I'm smoking this so I don't smoke a cigarette. You like, took the words out of my mouth. I was like, yeah, I was like. You're just there huffing away on a vape, and it's like, yeah, bro, I need a dart. Yeah, and you think I'm just over here smoking crack? Like, come on, man. Hold on a second. I'll give you a smoke, but you got to give me the ash so like I can put it in. Yeah, I'll give you the smoke, but you got to give me the ash so I can put it in this homemade pipe that I got here in my hand so I can just keep smoking crack all day. Like, fly the fuck, man. Bro, dead ass. I had to switch watches. I swear to God. What? In Why did some crackhead try to steal it? So I had, you know, the old gold Michael Kors watch I used to wear. Oh yeah, yeah. So this guy comes up to me. He's in the village. He's like, "Bruh," he's like, "It's a nice watch." He's like, "You ever been jumped before?" <laughs> so, me being the smart ass I am, you know, puts my hand on my blade. Like, no, I know it's a nice watch, but uh, you ever been shanked before? <laughs> so me being the cocky prick, and then me and this guy get into a litter. Legitimate heated argument at the fucking bus stop over yeah. my goddamn watch because he made a dumbass fucking joke. Oh yeah. So I made a dumb one back, and you know, but yeah, I had to switch watches because of that, man. People hey, are shit. fucking ridiculous, man. Dude, it's funny. Like, uh, it's funny if you want to make a joke, man, but don't be so fucking serious, dude. Dude, I know. I uh, I was at Walmart actually earlier in the week. And there was this dude in there flipping his fucking shit because they didn't have a certain flavor of his drink. Ooh. Dude, I hate those guys. It's like, bro, it's... What do you expect, though? It's right before Christmas. You're going there. Yeah. There's deals on fucking everything. (laughs) Place on fucking wheels. There's a good chance you might not get everything you want. Dude. You know what I mean? And it sucks... But we're all humans, and you can fucking get over that shit. Dude, that's like going to Walmart, like, fucking four days before Christmas and be like, I need this advent calendar right now. Yeah. And like I, one of those Lindor bitches or some shit. I, like, no, like, it's like going fuck? over there now and being like, whatever the hottest selling TV that's on sale is right now, I want four of them. Yeah, dude. Like, but you'd be lucky if you get that shit during Like, what the fuck? If you want some shit like that during Christmas, go there during fucking Boxing Day sales. Yeah. That's basically the best advice we I I can give you. You want it during Christmas, you fucking say fuck Christmas and wait till Boxing Day, dude. Because that's if you don't get it during Black Friday, you ain't getting that. Well, shit. I ordered a black. I ordered a computer on a Black Friday sale, and it's still not fucking here. It's coming, man. It's supposed to come tomorrow. Today, I am not even working out, and my watch is telling me I've been working out for 10 fucking minutes. That's hilarious. This is great. So this whole podcast has been a workout. So now I don't need to go to the fucking gym today, apparently. Dude, that's like my... That, but that's like my phone. I got one of them fucking step calculators or whatever the fuck it is, and, like, the fitness thing, the, the Apple fitness thing. Oh, yeah, dude. And uh, it literally be like, telling me... I've walked so this much in this time today, and I'm like, bro, all I did, I never walked any more than normal. <laughs> my phone just must have jingled around in my pocket more, or I picked it up and put it down on the counter more at work than I normally do. Dude, I, I swear to God, I kid you not. It's going to sound fucked. I could literally beat my fucking meat, and I would legit get steps. I get so fucked. Oh, yeah, I'm not surprised. Like, like, you just fucking shake your wrist well, and your any, fucking... Any, yeah, well, any kind of movement or motion, right, it's definitely going to pick it up. So, like, for smartwatches, man, they really need to figure out a better system to, like, you need to really be able to recognize what the fuck is moving as feet 
And what's a fucking wrist movement? Yeah, yeah. And what's a fucking wrist movement? Because if I'm jerking my steps, or if I'm jerking my steps. Buddy over there jerking the gherkin. (laughs) If I'm jerking my gherkin, exactly. And I go from 900 steps to a fucking thousand steps, dude, there is something fucking wrong, bro. Or something very right. This is true. Maybe it's just a very passionate jerk off session. Yeah, you know, it's 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 a it's a rage stroke. <laughs> yeah, and, and not the, and not the good kind. Honestly, when <laughs> when somebody dies, I jerk off because yeah, I, rage I can stroke. My sadness, rage stroke. Oh, I'm so sad they're gone. Ah, oh, come. Yes, and then I'm okay. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Dude, like that's, that's that's the fucking jerk perks, my friend. <laughs> is that sad if I'm like at a funeral and I'm just like all I'm thinking about is just like, man, I need to go jerk off so this just fucking stops being so fucked right now. Is that bad? Maybe there's a body in a casket. Yeah, there, be... there's a slight <laughs> bit of necrophilia there. <laughs> I shouldn't be thinking. <laughs> uh, Whoa, that's a that's a little weird. I think I got a lot of things to contemplate upstairs, man. You think? Why does it sound like there's buses driving by outside? It's literally fucking like <laughs> three o'clock in the fucking Dude. morning. We do not have twenty four hour bus service here. No, and at the we end don't even we don't even have twenty four fucking minute bus service here or anything during the fucking peak times. And at the end of this fucking podcast, I'm gonna have a taxi, which is gonna take twenty goddamn minutes. So in reality, whatever the fuck is going on outside needs to stop. Well, I mean, you know, it's like three o'clock in the fucking morning. We got 80 minutes in. This is great. Yeah, man. We've been talking about jack shit. It's very true. We haven't talked about fuck all this whole podcast. It's just been rambling on. Yeah. But this will go. We uh, we didn't talk about a whole hell of a lot besides... Well, we talked about a bunch of hockey. Mm. Let's talk about this uh, whole MJF Ricky Stark thing here. <sighs> or the forbidden door which they should open. Well, they've already opened the forbidden door. No, but I mean literally making these matches happen. They did make a bunch. They've made a bunch of matches happen. Like, the only company that hasn't been involved with that stuff is WWE. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, WWE, per se, needs to open that more. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Vince still kind of has his palms and greasy little fingers and nubs and everything. Of course he does, man. He until Vince is completely away, I don't see that ever happening. Nah, man. They, Vince McMahon needs to just leave it alone and realize Triple H is doing what he needs to do. Dude, I've loved WWE since Triple H has taken over. It's been fucking glorious. It's been a lot better, man. I did a, I actually mm-hmm. did a, a review of Survivor Series. I thought Survivor Series was pretty good. Yeah, very well. The cards were very well made. Um, I think WrestleMania is going to be nice, too. Yeah. Two Royal Rumble seems to have a few. You know, John Cena is coming back to have a match with he's teaming with uh, Kevin Owens against Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn on the last SmackDown of the year. It's going to lead up to his fucking WrestleMania match. Well, this this would be the first year in six, in like 20 years he hasn't had a match. Mm-hmm. So that's why he's having the match before the end of the year so he can get a ma- one match in again. To mm-hmm. keep the streak going, nah. so that what are they going to treat this like the new streak? And that's that's what I heard they're trying to use it as his build up to WrestleMania because he's f- filming for a movie in February, Marchish, and April is going to be WrestleMania. So I've read now this is from certain insiders that it's going to be his build up and something's going to happen in that match. Okay, yeah, but. Because what I've heard is they're going to f- put Theory against Cena. Okay. I haven't seen anything about that. If I find it, I'll, I'll see. I think it's on PW Insider. Do okay. Read, do you yeah. read that I blog? Got, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I'll see if I can find it. But, uh, yeah, dude. I was like, oh, okay. So it's like, it's interesting to see. But I don't know. I can't see them bringing Cena back and just not letting him win the match. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> It's yeah, it's kind of weird, right? Because it's him and KO, and you know, oh, they're beating, they're beating Sammy and Roman. Yeah, they're, they're they're putting what they're doing right now is if they're trying to build that little bit of a divide between Sammy and Roman after they got him that false sense of to cut off that bloodline. 
thing. Well, the bloodline is going to end up being not being a thing soon. And oh, no, personally, so- I wouldn't be surprised if Jay Uso is the one who's orchestrating all this shit because he didn't want Sammy to be a part of it or anything. And now he's kind of, I seen a clip earlier where he's like, I'm raw this week. Sammy was supposed to get made an honorary Uso. Mm. Or at least that's what Jay was trying to say. I saw that. I mean, not an honorary one, a real one and lose the honorary title. Sorry. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I never, I didn't see what ended up happening with that. Uh, admittedly, I haven't watched Raw yet. Uh, I've just seen a couple of clips online. Yeah. Um, no, what I've also heard is what, so it's either going to be a Cena setup moment for WrestleMania. Yeah. Or it's going to be a setup towards Sammy becoming out of the bloodline. Well, but I personally think if WWE was smart. They'd let Sammy. Well, I think Sammy should be the one who beats Roman. Yeah. Just because, like, he can, they can pull it off as is. Or, or. He's been watching from the bloodline. Yeah. And, and just knows. Like, you know, there's what, certain what things I'm, they what can I'm, do. What, I'm, what I'd like to see. I'd like to see Jay be the one who's orchestrating all this shit. Mm-hmm. And he be the one who beats Roman. But then Sammy, to prove his loyalty to Roman, goes in the match against Jay. And he's supposed to give, like, maybe he has a thing where he's just going to give Roman the title after. That could be cool. But he doesn't actually do it, and it creates that feud then, right? You know what else I'd like to see? I'd like to see, like, Sammy and Roman versus each other, but Solo yeah. is the reason Roman loses the title. Because I think what they're trying to do with Solo Sokoa is build him up to an Umaga-type character. Because he's yeah. using... He's favored in the Samoan Spike now, and nobody's used that since Umaga. Yeah. So like, well, they're family too, right? Exactly. So, so he could be that new Umaga factor. Yeah, I could see it. So, He's kind of like a cross between Umaga and Samoa Joe. Yeah. So like, I don't know. I think Sola Sokoa is going to be his own star. Yeah. On, on his own, like he's ferocious. I love him. There's a lot going on with the bloodline right now, honestly. Yeah. It's only, in my it's, opinion, it's like the only good thing in WWE. Yeah. It's the best WWE faction they have going uh, on right now. It's the best WWE storyline they've had since the Festival of Friendship, which KO was also involved in mm-hmm. with Chris Jericho. Mm-hmm. With, with the list of Jericho and shit? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree dude. with you 100%. Yeah, man. Like, WWE is a bit far behind, but... It seems like Triple H is slowly starting to listen to people. Yeah, it definitely does. Uh, it seemed, I, I was reading something, though, that he's not exactly happy with a few of the wrestlers that he's brought back since. No, like Bray Wyatt and Johnny Gargano. Yeah, yeah. What? He also has to think of how he's utilized. Well, I wouldn't say it's Bray that he's not, that he's not happy with. Bray's been doing pretty good. Bray, that White Rabbit fucking thing that... Bray back oh, was I like the most highest view Ron, thing they've had. Ron Braun Strowman. Strowman, yeah, yeah, okay. that's who I meant. Bray Wyatt, he's just been cutting mad promos. Yeah, he hasn't done anything besides no. cut promos. But you know, Strowman's wrestled, Gargano's wrestled. Yeah. So it's like, why aren't you being utilized more? Yeah, I don't know, man. It's a bit weird, but it's, uh... now I guess Triple H is really kind of seeing a few of the things that he didn't see. <sighs> Yeah. That Vince scene before. And I guess that's where the eye for it is good, but it takes time to develop like, that and refine it, you know? I think Strowman is good for, like, an intercontinental United uh, States type bit, but as far as Universal Champion... I don't even stuff, think he's good enough for that. Oh, man, I don't know. Well, a tag title, maybe. But you're not going to get a tag titles because the fucking... I think you could do Uso's one of the more, like, the mid-card titles. But, hey, that's obviously... He's got a personality like a wet paper bag. Yeah, that's true. He needs to, like, bring he it out. He sounds man. fucked. Anytime, he, anytime he's on a mic in front of me, I just... Yeah, he eats ass on a I, mic. I literally want to stick needles in my yeah, ears or something, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, There's only not, a few solid guys that are actually... You know what? I like Austin Theory's mic work. Yeah, Austin Theory's great, man. I think he's he, good. He is like their hidden gem. And yeah. if I, and if they ever did a forbidden door type thing with AEW, I'd love to see Theory against MJF. Dude, yes. Yeah. 
Dude, that'd be closest to like Starks and MJF type stuff, I think. Yeah, I love Starks too, but he instantly seems like he's already getting buried back down on the mid card. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happens with AEW a lot. They yeah. don't build feuds. They don't keep them going. They'll build up. They'll do a solid build up. They'll get the one payoff out of it, and then they'll fucking dump it. Yeah, well, MJF just cut another great promo too. Yeah. So it's like you know. Oh, he's been great ever since he won the title. He's been great, dude. They didn't utilize MJF. And I loved MJF. I, I, yeah, I've, I I loved him from the start. I don't think it was that they didn't utilize him. I think it's that they were letting him properly grow. Okay, yeah, yeah because he yeah. wasn't on weekly TV or anything like that until he started coming to AEW, right? Mm-hmm. Because he was in uh, oh MLW before. Yeah, and. Uh, so was Dar- I think Darby Allen was too, and a couple of those other people. Uh, I know uh, Brian Pillman Jr. was. Fuck, that's a name I haven't heard in forever. Yeah, well, Brian Pillman. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Uh, another ex WWE cat. WWE back in the day had a lot of really Dude. great wrestlers, man. What was the match we were talking about earlier? Fucking. Shawn Michaels, Triple H, three stages of hell for the yeah. world heavyweight. Yes, sir. Look at that match. That was something, dude. Yeah, that match is fucking dope. There's a lot. Like, WWE back in the day, like, oh, like the DVDs you got there, like, those have solid fucking matches, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm probably going to fucking slap one of those on when I go to bed tonight, actually, after <laughs> well, talking about wrestling a bit. Yeah, I got that, like, edge one in, so, like, when I get home, I'll slap one on before I go to bed and fucking just peep. Just see slap one on before you slap one out. Yes, yeah, sir. You know how to do it. She'll wake up, she'll bitch for two minutes, and then I'll slap it in her. She'll be all right. <laughs> oh, man. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, that's bad, isn't it? <laughs> but I do need to get that nectar on my laptop and shit, though. Yeah, definitely. We're, uh, Dougie A is working, everybody. Um, you know, uh, mixing and shit like that. So don't have to diddle Frank's balls all the time to do it for me. Yeah. Can only diddle so much. That sounds so wrong. Yeah, but considering my, hand, my balls are very small like a child's. I know, but my hands get tired. It's <laughs> a lot of reaching and trying to find. It's a, it's a lot of jerking motions. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of oh, it hurts. A lot of wrist. jerking motions, a lot of holding flash, a lot of holding flashlights, a lot of yeah. being disappointed. It's a lot of people will, a lot of people going home and going to bed and crying themselves to in sleep utter, after utter, sitting in the shower. Utter mutiny. <laughs> we feel disrespected. Anyways, that's enough. We're going to round this out. Uh This has been a random ass podcast. It's, yeah, it's been it's been random. Uh, it's I think it's been all right though. Yeah, it's actually, it's been decent, man. We've just been shooting the shit, just talking like next time we'll be more structured. We've just been, yeah. we got a few nice beer in, you know, just been testing out the oh, waters, yeah, it's, seeing it's, how it's going. It's just, uh, it's just, just what it is, man. It was just a shoot the shit birthday podcast, man. That was, that was it. Yeah, so. Oh, one thing. What's up? Have you watched the movie Violent Night? No. So this is about a movie. This, no, this is a movie about a Santa Claus that's just being violent and gory. <laughs> so, it's in theaters. We need to go. I mean, I'm down. Like Santa Claus fucking people up? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I like horror. I don't really like Christmas. So it works. Yeah, let's do it. It's double run. All right. And that's uh, the end of the podcast. I yeah, think. all right. So, this, this is- has been The Blend. This has been Dougie A. And I'm Frank. And we hope you guys enjoy what you listen to. And I hope that you guys tune in again sometime soon. There's going to be a lot more of these coming up. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing some solo ones. I'm going to be having Dougie around for a few more. Oh, we're going to be uh, back, baby. We, we, had, we had the homie Jay on for one recently. He's Ooh. going to be back around for a few more. And we're going to have a lot more of the local scene in for... Uh, podcast stuff and interviews very soon so tune in more uh we hope you guys have a great night and thanks for listening peace out y'all peace out